Hi again, I'm meteorologist Jay Bershback. This is Imagine It. We're at the Imagination Station with Carl Nelson. And today, simply put, it's the gummy bear sacrifice. Carl, what does that mean? What we're going to do is we're going to investigate how much energy there is in one of these little gummy bear friends. We okay, have we all have had treats. We've all sure. had uh, treats like this, and usually you don't stop at one, right? You, you <laughs> Nobody can eat just one, no. no. Um, so what we're going to do is we've got a couple test tubes here filled with potassium chlorate, and we've been heating it up here to get it molten, Okay. and when it decomposes, it turns into potassium chloride and some oxygen. So what we have here is a rich source of oxygen, and it's relatively warm as well. Okay. So Jay, why don't you go ahead and, um, you've got some of the, the sour gummy bears I like there. Sal sour ones, by the way. So. <laughs> all right, go ahead and drop your, uh, drop all five in all at once. Okay. And then take your hand away quickly from the top okay. of the test tube. Okay, you ready? Yep. There we go. Go ahead and pop them down in there. Wow. So you can see um, that sugar that is falling down inside there is reacting with the oxygen and you're getting uh, some nice carbon dioxide gas coming off, some okay. water vapor, you get some nice screams from the gummy bears <laughs> of sorts in there. Oh no. Another one has just fallen into the pit. That's um, a neat color too for a flame. It is, it is a nice yeah. purpley color and um, I'll try, try mine with uh, just the regular old gummy bears here. Let's see what happens. Another one down in there. Each gummy bear has about 10 calories in it. And so this kind of gives you a, a simple visual way to sort of gauge the number of calories that are in your food. Just keep popping them in there. We continue to burn that sugar. 10 calories a piece sure. or so. So as, as your body consumes the gummy bears, we're using that energy to fuel our bodies. Exactly. But we're just showing it visually with a nice big bright flame. Exactly. And you get the steam that comes out yeah. and the CO2 and the water vapor. It's just and the sound. I don't know if they can hear the sound at home, but it makes that nice classic sort of chemistry teacher experiment to yes. talk about oxidation reduction reactions. Well, kids and candy and science. Absolutely. It's a nice mix. How much cooler can that be? And you're sort of getting that caramelized smell now. I don't know if you can smell that. It's a bit of uh, some of the leftover. Oh, yeah. Leftover gummy bear has that, caramelized, which is the bottom of the test tubes are black now. That reminds me of science. And if you feel the whole school <laughs> up, you know, in science class in high school, the whole school kind of smells like a burnt piece of sugar. If that's kind of what it you, smells that's like. What you're going that's for, the that's memory I'm having, okay, Carl. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So that's wonderful. Fine. Very cool. So sorry about that, gummy bears, but <laughs> it proves a point. Gummy bears, unfortunately, Source have some calories. They do. They yeah, do. Yeah, they're yummy, though. <laughs> okay. All right, Carl, thank you so sure. much. For Carl Nelson, I'm meteorologist Jay Burschback, and that was Imagine It. This whole time, I thought it was a calorie-free snack. Oh, the Imagination Station <laughs> open Monday for Memorial Day from 10 to 5. And here's a look at the station's normal hours. They're open Tuesday through Sunday, so plenty of chances to get down there with the family. From there, I want to go over to check in with Dave Holmes to see what's going on in sports.